What up, what up, everybody? Darkler17 here. I'm doing review for Bleach Chapter 554 titled um, Desperate Lights, I think. Right. Sorry about this, guys. The review is kind of out late. I've been busy today. It's been kind of hectic. I wanted to post the reviews like earlier this afternoon, but shit got in the way and I was busy with other stuff. And that's not the case. As you can see, even my, like, I'm not recording it in the same spot where I usually, like, next to my bookshelf, but so. I had to like kind of rush it. So anyway, Bleach chapter 554, Desperate Lights. Pretty simple chapter. Um, it was a pretty good chapter, I, you know, I suppose. Uh, it, was, it was okay, it's sort of. I, there's one thing I have to complain about, though, and I'll tell you guys about that later. Pretty much basically what happens in this chapter, very short chapter in my opinion. Um, it starts off, um, oh yeah, there's that Stern Ritter, uh, the fire guy. I don't remember his name. The guy though, he, well, that was fighting Hitsu guy at the beginning. Um... Um, he basically makes a comment about how Sternritter Kang Du um, arrogantly goes to fight Hitsugai and then loses. And he's kind of like ticked about that. And then whatever, that passes. And then we cut to Hitsugaya talking and it's saying that it's over and blah, blah, blah. And that now he's going to help Matsumoto and so on and so forth. Then we cut to um, pretty much... Uh, well, there's another, there's another Stern Ritter, <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, and this is like a little girl looking thing, and I don't even know her name. Pretty much what happens is all the, all the Stern Ritters lose the Bankai uh, that they had stolen, and it cuts to um, Uryu talking to um, uh, Yuha Bak and asking him, like, I expected that you assumed that this would happen. That this would happen, and uh, and of course, Yohabak's like, of course, I'm like a god. I know when everything is gonna happen. I was kind of like a little pissed at this point, um, particularly because if you knew that the Shinigami were gonna get their bankai back, what was the point of stealing them? Like, if the Bankai were essentially just preventing them from using their true despair attack, their Vol, 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 Volgen, it's a German fucking, I forget what it's called now, uh, I believe it was called, uh, Volgen, Volgen something, hold on a sec, let me see if I can remember, Vol, or something like that. Anyway, basically, it means complete. And I was like, okay, if, if the Bankai is supposed to prevent you from using this, why would you steal the Bankai in the first place? Did they expect to kill anyone by stealing the Bankai? Because from what I remember, the only person they managed to kill by stealing his Bankai was... Um, uh, old man Yamamoto, right? That's about it. I, I'm not pretty. I'm pretty sure not many people, not many other important characters died um, during this little war versus the Quincy. Um, so I was pretty kind of like, what was the point of that? You know. Aside from that. Um, it was a pretty good chapter. Um, then basically what happens is that girl, she's like bitching li Lily, Lily Puppet or whatever her name is. <laughs> Lily Puppet. She's like screaming like kids' names. And then uh, candy names like Candy and, 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 and Lily and whatnot. Come like, come to me, come to me and whatnot. And like she's acting all arrogantly and she's talking. And then what's his name? Then, um, oh my god, I forget that freaking giant, that freaking giant guy's name. Anyway, that freaking like fox looking captain that has the helmet on, he comes back finally after meeting his, uh, I believe it was father or grandfather, I believe it was grandfather at the cave. Um, he comes back and now, oh, like, what happened at the cave? I thought the grandfather wasn't going to agree with him or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so I'd like to know what happened there. That was pretty interesting. I hate how it was just cut short, that little event. But whatever, I guess it happens. Um, 
pretty much simple chapter we see um, Shinji um, one of the captains the one with the ability um, one with the one with the bankai that inverts everything which is a pretty cool bankai if you ask me he kind of like shows his bankai and it was the first time where I actually s witnessed his bankai in the actual manga so I realized that Kubo inverted the words upside down as well as her the portrait obviously um, and I thought that was pretty well done. I think I was. I thought that was pretty creative for his bankai. And but uh, yeah, overall was a pretty good chapter. There's only one problem I have with the chapter, and like I said, it's like, if you, what was the point of seeing the bankai? If if they knew that they were eventually going to get it back, I can kind of accept the opinion if I hear like, oh well, they could have killed some people in the in in the meantime. Yeah, but. Kang Du is finished. That Stern Ritter BG9 looks like he lost his face. Was it really worth stealing their bankais if they knew that they were gonna like get them taken back? You know what I mean? And it kind of looked like, especially last chapter, it kind of looked like when, um, what's his face? When Kang Du and Hitsugai were fighting, um, it kind of looked like Kang Du did not expect him to steal his bankai like back so Mr. Yuha back who thinks he knows everything eh that's the only like iffy part of the chapter um, and that's pretty much the end of the chapter uh, well not really but Basically, like, Lily, Lily Puppet, or whatever the hell her name is, she gets, like, that giant true despair beam after Shinji uses his bankai on her. And, um, then it cuts to, like, Yuha back, and he's talking about how it's true despair. And how now the game really begins, and how, like, this complete Quincy form, or whatever, Quince, Quincy attack is gonna annihilate or obliterate um, everyone. Then we cut to the final. The final page is basically um, um, Urahara and uh, Kurosuchi, and they get a phone call. Well, Urahara gets a phone call, and they find that it's Ichigo. Now, I'll be honest with you. I forgot what happened to Ichigo. I'm like, where, where the hell has Ichigo been? He's the main character, and there hasn't really been much focus on him in the past few chapters. Which is okay, I'm not like going to complain because it's also important to have character development from other people. But I'm like, oh, that's right. But now I'm actually completely forgot what happened to Ichigo. And I'm not going to bother going back because I'm not the type of person to go back. Unless it's like really bothering me. But, like, I don't remember the last thing that happened to Ichigo. If I remember correctly, the last time we saw Ichigo when was he got his, was when he got his new Bankai. Dual bladed thingy. Cool kind of thing. And... Other than that, it's pretty interesting. I wonder what uh, Ichigo is going to come. Is he going to come say, the day? Is he got something to say? Most likely since he's calling Urahara. Well, uh, it was, I guess, a pretty average chapter. I'm going to give it about 7 on 10. The only thing, I, like I said last time, I was not happy. Like I said before, I was not happy with the... Um, why did they steal their bankai's little argument that I had? If any of you can tell me why, like, give me a good reason that you guys think, then it w I would really appreciate it. If not, but uh, it's okay. It's just it's meant for discussion. Um, speaking of discussion, for those of you who um, watch my One Piece videos, uh, as many of you know, One Piece is not out this week. It's on break. Um, I hope Oda gets well. Um, I'm going to have a discussion video in case if any of my Naruto fans watch this as well. I'm going to post it on each and every one of my videos for today. My two videos I'm going to post today. Um, I'm going to have a Naruto uh, discussion video. And I don't know why I'm saying it's in my Bleach review, but just in case any of you uh, miss it in the next one. And I'm going to also have some Bleach discussions uh, up coming soon. Um, also, I'm going to have some Naruto gameplay, which I did record today, posted. Woohoo, surprise, surprise, a few ranked matches commemorating the new um, full burst. I know this is kind of irrelevant considering it's Bleach information, but uh, it's a Bleach chapter, sorry, but just the same, I figured you guys should know uh, as well.
and I will have eventually bleach discussions, uh, interesting ones. Think I'm trying to think of some discussions right now. I, think I, th I thought of a Naruto one, which I'm going to talk about in my in my Naruto review at the uh, towards the end of my Naruto review, um, Naruto chapter review. And after that, um, I'm going to post a few reviews. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to post a few discussions. I don't know when, but I'm basically going to give like a I'm going to ask a question or I'm going to pick a topic and I'm going to give my reasoning, my whatever my answers for, it, and then I'm going to ask you guys to tell me what you guys think if you guys don't know how discussions work. And it's going to be the same for Bleach, One Piece, and Naruto, and most likely Attack on Titan as well. Attack on Titan, not as much, because. Like, Attack on Titan is complicated. It's long. There will be Attack on Titan as well, but for now, nothing I have that I'd like to discuss about for Attack on Titan. More One Piece, definitely. More Naruto, definitely. And Bleach, most likely, because they they come out more recently. and There's much more to discuss. And we know a lot more than in Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is kind of weird because we receive information, a lot of information, in one piece. So, it's kind of... But I, I will definitely have... Um, I will definitely have some discussion for Tag on Titan as well. Um, Alright guys, sorry for like uh, dragging this uh, video on. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave, uh, please leave a like on in the bottom. It tells me who watches and gives me a good idea if I should continue these reviews or not. I would appreciate if you guys like it no matter what. Uh, if not, this, I, even, if you di even if you don't like it, please by all means dislike it. Uh, it'll tell me what I can work on, and then let me know what I can, what, what you'd like to hear more about. And I'm always happy to hear. Um, uh, different opinions or whatever. Um, I can, that's about it. Alright guys, take care. Have a good night. Uh, have a good rest of the week. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care.